The chance for storms continues. We'll have the details in the Doppler 7 forecast. All those faces and reactions really say it all. Game three was a lot of fun for the Pistons. Awfully frustrating for the Lakers. Will that scenario continue in game four here at the Palace tonight? Joining me as always, the former head coach who won two NBA titles with the Pistons, Chuck Daly. If it's going to happen again, I would think, and we need to talk about this, the Piston guards, Chauncey, Chauncey and Rip, are absolutely dominating the Laker guards. Why? Well, first of all, in the case of Rip Hamble, he's so much quicker than either one of those guards. He's going to get loose. And Chauncey's a big guard who can really score. He's not getting the tough defense that he saw in the previous series. So they're getting wide open looks. Plus, Chauncey is the point guard coming off the of screens, is coming off wide open because they're not getting the hedges. If Kobe only scores 11 and only gets one point in the first half, the Lakers are dead, right? There's no way they beat the Pistons. Well, that, that is hard to believe that that could possibly happen. I think they had 11 and 14 between right, 25. The two, two MVP candidates. You know, we talked the other night, the, the fact that no they came the day of the game. They should have been rested. They know what the consequence is. Right. But I noticed that Phil Jackson at his press conference keeps talking about getting one win to try to get it back. And that's a little bit like what happened to us when we lost the second game against Portland. So I, they may be content with that and think they're good enough. Is it almost unimaginable that the Lakers would score 68 points, their all-time playoff low, in a playoff game? Well, it's possible if those two guys are going to get 14-11, <laughs> if they don't show up for whatever reason. Or are we going to give the Pistons finally some credit, one, for their great defensive rotations and their great rebounding and not giving up second shots? Mm -hmm. All right, one thing certainly on the Pistons' mind is the fact that they'd like to go up 3-1. That's a whole bigger, different scenario than 2-2. Are they smelling blood? Here's some comments from some of the guys. No, not really. You know, they just, you know, they, they've been here before. They won the big dance. They know what it feels like to win a championship. So, um, you know, I don't think, you know, we did anything to shock them. You know, they know how to bounce back. Our confidence level has, uh, has increased a lot. You know, coming in, we felt like we could play with this team. We felt like we belonged here, that we were going to win a championship. And just to see how we played in the first three games, I think our confidence has gotten even bigger. And, and uh, you know, we feel great about our chances of, of playing against this team. Of course, that is today. Is it too early for that kind of a thing? Or, as Corliss says, after tonight, if they win up 3-1, then you really smell blood. You do, but you never discount anything. We go back to the when we won it. The Lakers go down with two people. And I'll never forget the fourth game that series. We were down at half. And I said, hey, guys, we're up three zip. If we get a key injury, it can happen all over again. So you got to be very, very careful at what can happen in an NBA series. All right, some of the Lakers are also saying some rather surprising things. The other day at practice, I want you to listen to what Derek Fisher said about his team and the way they're responding and playing in this series. You know, I just think overall they're... Um, you know, not necessarily playing harder than us, but they're playing like they they want it more than us. You know, it seems that their desire to be in this position to be champions is is greater than ours at this point. And um, can you ever remember seeing that before? Um, not not with our team. And that is clearly kind of an astounding, stunning statement coming from one of the Lakers. Now, one of the former Lakers also had some very critical things to say about this current group of players. And Dave Llewellyn joins us with that side of the story from Magic Johnson. Dave? And Don, Magic watched game three and didn't like it. His Lakers were outworked, out-hustled, outplayed throughout the game. Back home in Lansing to promote his basketball camp, Magic ripped his team. I'm an owner and I'm a vice president and 
I'm a competitor, and uh, I want nine rings. I got eight. I want nine. And so that, that, that's never going to change. I mean, I don't care if we play in the Pistons or we play in Michigan State. If I'm a part of the organization and I'm here to whoop some butt, I'm here to compete and I'm here to play. Even though I'm on the sideline, I'm here to uh, win. Unless they come out and play basketball very hard and um, meet the same level of intensity that uh, the Pistons have, then it's a series to be over. My anger is that we haven't competed in this series. I don't know what is going on and, and what the mindset of these guys are. This is, this is just unacceptable to the Laker organization. This is unacceptable for the fans of the Lakers to come out here and, and put forth an effort like that. This team, Detroit is a great team, but they're not great uh, enough to beat the Lakers by 20 points. It just, it's, it's not. We assembled this team to win a championship. We didn't assemble this team to go to the championship. Pretty strong words from Magic Johnson. He certainly knows of what he speaks. If the Lakers don't win tonight, it'll be very difficult for Magic to get that ninth ring. No team in the NBA Finals has ever come from three to one down in the series to win the title. Don, coach. All right, Dave, thank you. Let's talk about what Magic said first. Extremely critical of the efforts of his team, and he is a part owner of this team. Your thoughts on whether that means anything? The players hear that, and might they respond to that? Well, Magic's been there, done that, and he is, I think, he's trying to stimulate his team. He knows that they will read that. But I think he's sincerely upset. Uh, I don't think any executive or team owner minds if they get beat, if they get the kind of effort that they expect. And I don't think that he felt they got that the other night. You know, it's one thing to go down, scratch and claw and all that sort of thing. That's not happening. It hasn't happened a couple games. Either that or the Pestons are making them look a little bit old. And that's what a sense I got in the last game. All right, before that, it was Derek Fisher saying the Pistons look like the team that wants it more. We used to do that to teams when we were winning our championships. But right now, they look like they want it more. They haven't been on this stage before. I think the fact that they got to the stage, they say, we like it. We like all this attention. They're excited to be here. Most of them have not been here, two of them only. And so consequently, I think they're sky high and will continue to be throughout the series. All right. I, I don't understand, and maybe you can help me understand, how a team can get here and not try as hard as you possibly can and not give the most effort that you possibly can, even if the other team has something to say about whether it looks like you're doing it or not. Well, we have a kind of a theory, no more big games. And some teams who get there so often, these games aren't nearly as big as they are for the newcomers. And no matter what they try to do to themselves psychologically, it just doesn't come about. That's what we have to watch tonight. Okay, well, Chuck and I have a lot more to talk about, including Shaquille O'Neal. We will talk about Shaq, and indeed we will also talk about the 89 team that Coach Chuck Daly coached to the first ever Pistons World Championship. That and more coming up on Pistons Game Day. Stay with us. Channel 7's Rock Financial Pistons Game Day is brought to you in part by Rock Financial, the mortgage experts. By Wallside Windows, most preferred, most preferred. By the Metro Detroit Ford dealers, think Ford first. By McDonald's, I'm loving it. And by Meyer, higher standards, lower prices. to work on your lawn and garden. The Meyer Garden Center. All the right supplies at all the right prices. What does Detroit All-Star Ben Wallace want in a truck? Hmm. Wow. Like a Triton V8 engine. What else? Gotcha. The highest available payload. Anything else? Ah, it's got to be best-in-class quiet. Sounds like Ben wants the next F-150. Current AZD plant lessees can lease a loaded F-150 Super Cab for only $179 a month with $19.74 due at signing. Anything else? See your Metro Detroit Ford dealers and...
Thank you, Detroit, for making Andiamo the number one Italian restaurant in Metro Detroit. Andiamo was voted number one by Gourmet Magazine and Our Magazine. Congratulations to the Eastern Conference champions, the Detroit Pistons. Hi, I'm David Hall from Rock Financial. With breaking news from the mortgage experts that Piston fans aren't going to want to miss, now through the end of June, the first thousand clients to apply for a home purchase or refinance will receive Rock Financial's family-friendly four-pack. That's right. Four tickets to four home games, four t-shirts, four hot dogs, soft drinks, a parking pass, and more. Exclusively from the mortgage experts at Rock Financial. Proud presenting sponsor of your Detroit Pistons. Limited time offer. Call now. 800-333-ROCK. It's just not the same. Tickets are going fast. Call now. Sup, fool. Chillin', I see. Look, I don't want to get up all in your peace, but your mom's wants you to square up this joint, yo. You want me to clean my room? That would be the heezy. Represent. D-A-W-G. Pronounced dog. Learn anything. Faster. SPC Yahoo DSL for $26.95 when you sign up online. The chance for storms will start the week. We'll have the details after the game. Fans, they're certainly ready for this thing. Welcome back to Pistons game day with Chuck Daly. Let's talk about Shaquille O'Neal. 14 points, all-time playoff low for him. We mentioned that earlier in the show. The Lakers seem to forget about him. He goes and he gets some points and he gets inside and he does his job and then they stop going away from him and he is complaining about it every chance he gets. Well, he's unhappy about it and uh, he's the he's the guy and uh, Kobe's a great player. They're both great players. But when you got a guy like him, you got to throw the ball inside and make things happen. And, you know, to some degree, I think Phil has to put the hammer down and say, that ball is going inside. I suggest that he will get it very early tonight in the series. And, and is, it, he's playing right into the Pistons' hands if they don't go to him, right? I mean, they're going to be thrilled. Yeah, you don't want to throw at the shack. That's great for us, right? Well, it's hard to believe um, whether they could keep the ball away from that much if they're, unless they're dropping way off of somebody and take away passing lanes. But it doesn't seem like it. And I think he's got to move a little bit more. I think he's running down court going to one spot. I think he's got to move a little bit more to try to get the ball and put him in moving situations. All right, before the game the other night, Carl Malone got into it with a fan. Uh, went over to him, did some stuff, and here it is. Carl Malone's got to just ignore that fan and keep it in the layup line and forget about this. This is wrong. I mean, is he frustrated? What's this all about? Well, that's a real no-no. I mean, we, we learned that from the day you come into the NBA. You're always going to get people that are trying to get you irritated, go after it. As the bad boys, we probably had more than anybody in the league. Right. Lambeer used to keep, come on, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> but Carl was, I think, a little frustrated and reacted accordingly and not good. As you see, some of the Lakers, uh, that's Cook on the court, shoot some free throws and some jump shots, getting ready for this thing. Let's, let's reminisce just for a second or two and talk about the 89 team because you beat the Lakers in that series. Uh, you swept them to win the first ever title. Do you see some similarities to what's going on here with the Pistons now and the Lakers to that team? No question. It's deja vu all over again. It really is. I mean, we had some stars. We had Joe and Isaiah. I guess Isaiah at that time was the brilliant star, but we did had nowhere near the stars that they had. And then all of a sudden, here we are. And then you, I, I felt the same thing that this team has done. We start getting confidence. I says, you know what? We can really compete with this team. Particularly went out there and we won the first game. And then you start thinking entirely differently about where you are in the series. You plan a little bit differently. You, you time your substitution a little bit differently. But they definitely are in a position right now. Did you see anything in Joe Dumars back then that would lead you to believe he'd be so, so successful as a management guy now and call the shots? You know, you had to always love Joe Dubar. He was a guy I never had to cater to. 
never needed anything, was just going to come, do his job. But I would look at him, and he would always know what was going on in front of the scenes and behind the scenes. Then when I saw him get into business locally, I knew where he was headed. And then when he took on this job, until once he took it over fully, he invested in it, put the time in, and he knows what he wants because he's gone through it. And kind of built the team in his image, hasn't he? Absolutely. The same image Jack McCloskey did. Yeah. All right, it's worked well. It worked well for Chuck's team, and it's working well right now for the Pistons as well. We're not done. We're going to talk about the coaches, Larry Brown and Phil Jackson. As you look at the Lakers and the Pistons getting ready for this one from the Palace. Stay with us. Bill Bonds, truth? I love talking about the news, and let me tell you, this is news. Only at Gardner White, one massive clearance sale. We must move merchandise. Every price is cut. You save as much as 75% of the best furniture with 0% interest for three entire years, and we pay your sales tax and no minimum purchase. Only at Gardner White, you get this amazing deal on each and every item you choose. Don't miss this sale. This is the best time to buy furniture. Get to Gardner White. It's over Wednesday. See it, feel it, live it. Let the party begin at Greek Town. It was Windows for $60. Then it was no payments and no interest for one full year. Now, Wallside has combined both. For a limited time only, buy five or more Wallside windows. Get a sixth window for only $60. Plus, no payments and no interest for one full year. And homeowners who call this week get free Argon gas. $60 windows, plus no payments and no interest till July 2005. Only from Wallside. Call 1-800-521-7800. Hi, I'm David Hall from Rock Financial. With breaking news from the mortgage experts that Piston fans aren't going to want to miss, now through the end of June, the first 1,000 clients to apply for a home purchase or refinance will receive Rock Financial's family-friendly four-pack. That's right, four tickets to four home games, four T-shirts, four hot dogs, soft drinks, a parking pass, and more exclusively from the mortgage experts at Rock Financial, proud presenting sponsor of your Detroit Pistons. Limited time offer, call now, 800-333-ROCK. This is an exceptional health update. I'm Tom Ingram. This little device, combined with the right physician's hands, can make a tremendous improvement in a patient's quality of life by treating their weak heart muscles. Dr. Randy Lieberman is the world-renowned pioneer of this new therapy. Dr. Lieberman, what makes your procedure so successful? Tom, we now have successfully implanted this device in over 1,000 patients. We also are doing research on where to specifically place the leads to improve the success of the therapy for the patient. And physicians from throughout the United States and throughout the world are traveling to Harper University Hospital to learn this new technique. Gene, you're a patient of Dr. Lieberman. How has this procedure changed your life? Oh, I'm not tired anymore. I feel great, and I would recommend this procedure to anyone with my condition. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with an exceptional Harper physician, call 1-888-HRC-2588. Before Chuck Well before Chuck and I continue, we've got some severe weather in our area. Let's go to Shea Ryan back in the studio. Shea. Thanks, Don. We do have two tornado warnings to let you know about. One is for Lapeer County, the other is for St. Clair County. This is until 915. Take a look on your screen. You can see the shear marker just on top of Yale that is indicating rotation in the area so this storm will be on top of Jetto by 836 and will be on top of Blaine by 837 as we zoom back out here you can see the very lar large and long uh, line of storms this will continue moving across the area for the next hour and then conditions will improve considerably after that there is still a chance for a thunderstorm warning 
the, the biggest threat being damaging winds and hail, but of course for St. Clair County and also for Lapeer County, there is a chance for an isolated tornado. Back to you, Don. All right, Shay, thank you very much for that update. We're back with Chuck. Let's talk about the two coaches as we continue. Larry Baum seems to be having fun, seems to be relaxed. Jackson's complaining about the referees, seems to be uptight. What's going on here? Well, in terms of referees, Phil, from the beginning of time, back when we were playing those series, always waits till about the fourth game to start declaring that his team <laughs> is not being refereed properly. Oh, I mean, he does it every possible series. It's a psychological ploy. He hopes that the officials read it and hear it. Maybe he'll get a call. In Larry's case, I think he's having fun with it. You know, it's been interesting to watch Larry, even in that double overtime game in Jersey. He was having fun with it. I think he's a little surprised having come here and to be in the finals the first year he's here. So he's approaching it, I think, a little bit differently. You, I guess you might think the same thing. Did you believe the Pistons maybe would be in this position next year and not right now when you looked at them? I thought, I thought they had a chance next year. I didn't think early in the year. I knew when they got Rashid, I told Rick Carlisle on the phone, I said, you got a problem because they're going to be the best team of the East once they got him. Because I keep going back to defensive rebounding. People don't understand it. I was with a couple coaches yesterday. They kind of looked at me. They don't get it, but that's the name of the game. Are the personalities of the coaches right now also a byproduct of the big bad Lakers here four times in five years, always winning the finals when Phil coaches them, have a heck of a lot more pressure on them than Larry and his guys? To some degree, but frankly, you got two real pros here, two of the easily the best coaches in the league. They're both Hall of Famers, will go down in history, and so it's a great matchup for basketball. People who like to see, other than just the game, see what the other guys are doing. So, uh, yeah, I think Larry's much more relaxed. In All a right. word. <laughs> In a word. <laughs> All right, Chuck and I are in three. We're coming back with more Pistons game day right after this, so please stay with us. Tom was injured in an auto accident. We needed a lawyer fast. Don't deal with the insurance company alone. Tell them you called Lee Free. Work on your lawn and garden. The Meyer Garden Center. All the right supplies at all the right prices. Welcome to another episode of Cooking Authentic Italian Andiamo Style. Hi, I'm Teresa Tamio here in the kitchen at Andiamo. It's always a bustling place, and with me once again is my favorite chef, Chef Sal. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Teresa. Welcome back. Thank you. Today I'm going to make you something that's authentic from the Italia, from okay. the, the old country. Okay. This is called chicken melanzane. Chicken with eggplants. That's all right. You know that. I'm Italian. Oh, see, we got a piece of chicken here. Right. Underneath it, the chicken we put on top of it, melanzane. Eggplant. Eggplant. Prosciutto. Italian ham. That's right. And formaggio. Cheese. That's right. Now what we do, we okay. set it up this way. Right. Then we take it, we put it in the oven. Okay. And we bake. Would you All mind right. to put it in sure. the oven for me? There it goes. Okay, now after you bake in the oven for a uh -huh. while, you take it out. This is the finished product. That is gorgeous. You take the sauce that we make a special sauce mm. and you put it all around it and it is so delicious you and you know what believe. when you come down diamo you get this kind of a meal but you also get salad pasta soup and you can also get the recipes on wxyz.com by clicking on on diamo but why do you want to click on anything to get a recipe you're going to try to make this at home what do you want to get Ajita? <laughs> you got to come to on diamo where it's italian and it's authentic and not only that all the sports figures come yes. to eat here go pistons on diamo go pistons come here to eat it's what the Italian was meant to be. No matter where you go in this town, one name you see is Wallside, Michigan's number one replacement window company. Number one for one good reason. We keep our promises. When you see this sign, you know you made the right choice. Wall side, most preferred, most referred. Ticket plans for next year are going fast. Reserve yours by putting $250 down now. Call now or visit pistons.com. 
Channel 7's Rock Financial Pistons Game Day is brought to you in part by Rock Financial, the mortgage experts. By Wallside Windows, most preferred, most preferred. By the Metro Detroit Ford dealers, think Ford first. By McDonald's, I'm loving it. And by Meyer, higher standards, lower prices. And welcome back to Pistons Game Day. Don Shane and Chuck Daly with you. Uh, you heard Magic's critical comments earlier in the show, but he's had quite the interesting week. He bought a car for his dad's birthday. It was at the Wixom plant a few days ago. That's just one of the good things about being back in Michigan, but there are some difficult aspects as well, and here's Magic to explain all that. This is hard. It's hard because I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I got my family is half with the Pistons, half with the Lakers. I flew my father-in-law out, Cookie's father. He's sitting in my home with all Piston gear on. And so my wife is looking at me, so she know how intense I am. And so she's trying to play referee because she got her father on one side, her husband on another side. And so we've been having big fun with it, and it's great. A rather unusual situation for Magic Johnson. Hey, let's talk about if the Pistons win tonight and go up 3-1, is this series over? No, definitely not. Do you not. think the Lakers could come back and still win three in a row? I think they're so confident in their own way, even though they're down and they've been outplayed. If they can get one here, they feel like they can hold serve at home. I really believe they think that. Is that just the attitude of a champion? Yeah, I think that's yeah, their attitude because they've been there before. I don't believe it. I think if they lose tonight, they're going to have a very hard time winning these series because the Pistons are going to really be juiced. But I wouldn't want to go out there and try to win two games against them. So it's still in the balance. You know what you sound like? I remember years ago talking to you about these kind of situations. You never thought you were safe. Even after you won the clincher, you almost didn't think you were safe. That cloud followed me around. It was everywhere. Come on. Prince of pessimism. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think like that when you're coaching, if for you, sure. If you would have one piece of advice to give the Pistons tonight, if you were in that locker room, what would you you say to them rebound the ball defensive rebounding no second shots no winning they'll win this game in the series perfect scenario thanks right. chuck as okay. always all right that's the story live from the palace i'm don shane with chuck daly we'll see you after the game for the post game story right here courtside enjoy the game everybody right here on channel seven After year in America, and here in Metro Detroit, more people choose Ford than any other make of vehicles. They choose Ford Escape, America's number one selling small SUV. And the 2005 Ford Escape is a great deal for only $208 a month. Current AZD plan lessees can lease Escape XLT for $208 a month with 2028 to its signing. Equipped with a V6, automatic, power driver's seat, air, CD player, and more. Make the right choice, choose the best, and think Ford first. See your Metro Detroit Ford dealer today. and Sony Connect are hooking up for the greatest music deal in history. Every time you buy a Big Mac meal, you get a free song. Just go to connect.com to get your access to hundreds of thousands of hot tracks. Our patients have been asking why Henry Ford Optimize now sells every frame for half off every day. Even the big names in fashion. It's really quite simple. Since we're eye doctors first, we think your eye care should come first. And going to a half-price policy on all frames will stop the need for all those boring sales and put the focus where it should be, on your eye care. Aren't you ready? I'm ready for Optimize. I'm ready for Optimize. I'm ready for Optimize. Aren't you ready for Optimize? First, it was Windows for $60. Then it was no payments and no interest for one full year. Now, Wallside has combined both. For a limited time only, buy five or more Wallside windows. Get a sixth window for only $60. Plus, no payments and no interest for one full year. And homeowners who call this week get free Argon gas. $60 windows, plus no payments and no interest till July 2005. Only from Wallside. Call 1-800-521-7800. We are the Moist family. We are customers of Comcast. 
I use the high-speed internet for talking to my friends. Hey, <laughs> it's really fast, and I can get my homework done quicker. And I never get to go on sometimes. You guys need to get off. You're always connected to the internet. The digital cable is uh, awesome. I love watching sports. The music channels. Everybody has an option. Without Comcast in this house, I don't know what would happen. If a concert hall can be acoustically tuned, if a 60,000-seat stadium can have a retractable roof, if an 80-ton bullet train can glide on air, why not your SUV? At GMC, our engineers don't just ask questions, they have answers. The GMC Envoy line of SUVs. Professional-grade engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. A mix of weather for the work week ahead. All the details in the Doppler 7 forecast. This is the home of the NBA Finals. ABC Sports Championship Television. Kobe Bryant arrives at the Palace of Auburn Hills. There's pressure on Kobe and Gary Payton, who hasn't performed well, and Shaquille O'Neal, because Rasheed Wallace of the Detroit Pistons have set the tone. One of the best team defenses in a long time with the right offense at the right time has Detroit knocking on the door of taking over the NBA Finals. Most of them had never been here before, but you would never know it. The Detroit Pistons have told the country, we're here too. Here too. Here too. With points from their guards and defense from everyone, everywhere, Detroit is in control. It's left the favorite frustrated, aggravated, and without an answer. But it's all part of this year's L.A. story. When the outlook is dark, they find the switch and somehow turn it on. Here comes Kobe. Well, tonight again is one of those nights. A big stage is set. Can two of the game's best help the Lakers even the series? Or will the Pistons pull to within one win of their own Hollywood ending? The heat is on for game four of the NBA Finals on ABC. Again, threatening skies. It has rained most of the...